I hear Ben uh, coming down the crunch here where I, uh, I got to talk to you a little bit and get some guidance uh, on this next spot. We've had uh, lots of suggestions, as you know. I met with your, some of our friends last night, uh, some of the governors. And uh, I've talked to George Meach, and I've talked to Stover. Uh, I visited with uh, old Jim Farley. I've talked with Mayor Daly. And, uh, oh my goodness, well, some of the other labor boys, I think we talked to Walter Rufo. And most of them, uh, they come out, uh, some of them are prescribers. Uh, I figured that that uh, uh, would uh, bring some complications. Even though he's mixed with some uh, powerful assets. The second man and first man for many of them was straight uh, uh, enough, but and I and then the other one is, uh, that they speak well of is uh, uh, Fred Harris. I thought he was a little young myself. Uh, he's young, getting too old. But uh, he's a dynamic campaigner. I just was sitting here with uh, Jim Rowe this morning, and uh, he said that wherever he went yesterday, why, and the day before, that the name uh, uh, Muskie came up. One other name that comes up is Cy Vance. I thought if I got elected, I might have some other things to do for, for him to do. If he do them. What, is, uh, what do you have to offer my, my contract? Not much. I think all of those are, are uh, good men. I think what you've got to do is, as nearly as you can, every one of these guys is trying to influence you. Now, I'm not. I don't want to influence you, but I do want to balance you, and I'll always do that as long as I live, because I'll try to be as good to you as you've been to me. Uh, the one thing I do is look at what I got as vice president and see where you're going to get it. Yeah. Now, I just can't improve on that. That's not sentiment. That's not emotion. That's just true. You want lots of energy and go-go. You want lots of articulateness. You want a guy that when the boss doesn't know whether he can come or not, that he'll tear up his speech and laugh and thank him for coming. You want a guy that only got to go down in the swamps, the boss can't go, that he'll love to do it and be happy, even though it just cuts his toenails off. Somebody's got to do that. Now, you've done it all along. you got to say you have somebody that had not a coward. And when the going gets tough and everything gets rough, and it will within the year, you got to have somebody that will just get in a little bit closer and stay a little bit longer. You've got to have a wife like yours, and you've got to have a family like yours. You've got to have somebody as near as that. Now, that's the best uh, dimensions I know. Who pets that, I just really honestly don't know. I know a good many that don't pet it. You don't want another lodge campaign. You don't want another Garner. You don't want another Wallace. And you just cannot tell. And what all is gold. All is not gold that glitters. I know. If I had one thing back, I'd appoint everybody like I appointed you, Vice President. If I had done that, start over new, I'd, uh, I'd do it now. Uh, so that's what I want you to be careful about. And this thing, loyalty, Hubert, there's not many of them that got it. I know that. And the, the vice presidency is an impossible job. No human being ought to be required to endure it four years. <laughs>